In Southern California, like much of the rest of the country, hundreds of thousands of homes were built before lead paint was banned in 1978. In fact, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development estimates more than 38 million homes still contain lead paint, and that one in four American houses contains some type of lead hazard. And why was lead used in paint in the first place? Because it made paint moisture-proof and durable. The city of Los Angeles is required by law to send inspectors to every rental unit in a multifamily building to look for code violations, including peeling paint. They find the oldest housing, the largest buildings, places where we know there will be a higher risk. To confirm the presence of lead in paint, a special lead inspector will systematically go through the home, room by room, testing samples of the painted surfaces. This is done using a handheld X-ray fluorescence device called an XRF gun. It finds lead by reading the unique set of characteristic fluorescence X-rays that lead emits. It's like a detective finding lead's fingerprint at the scene. We'll test the sash first. Um, 8.2 milligrams per square centimeter. So that's considered to have lead. It's way above the 0 0.7 milligrams per square centimeter here in LA County. The areas most likely to have lead-based paint are going to be windows and doors. That was actually a pretty high reading. And you want to be careful because those are friction surfaces. So they're rubbing together all the time. They're doing a lot of work that's causing paint chips to come down or lead dust to be created. 